The tropical rainfall we've been seeing is not the afternoon shower that our area is used to at this time of year. After days of downpours in north central Florida, the water level in the Santa Fe River remains low. We had a very unusual tropical storm, obviously. We're coming out at the end of, and so far I'm not seeing any kind of great improvement on the Santa Fe River. A handful of concerned citizens making up the group called Our Santa Fe River met at Post Springs Tuesday afternoon to discuss ways to raise river levels and curb the harmful growth of algae. Other than hoping for more rain, speakers promoted smarter water usage and cutting back on fertilizer. Even after this weekend's rain, the Santa Fe River near Post Springs still has a green tinge to it. Signs that the algae is still here and not going anywhere anytime soon. The kind of algae we got now, it's more of a nuisance. I mean, when it, when it decomposes, it can um, not smell very, very good. Um, it can cause irritation of the eyes and and breathing if you're swimming in it. Now, you know, we're not swimming in it, and hopefully I won't fall in. Bird wouldn't have far to fall. Most of the navigable parts of that river in that area are no more than three feet deep. Low rain levels and weak spring flow have currents almost to a standstill on the Santa Fe River. Heat and still waters have the potential to cause bacteria buildups. So what's the algae looking like down there? Is it pretty? It's pretty yeah. nasty. It's yeah. It doesn't yeah. clear up till post spring. Experts say that low rain levels can lead to a concentration of nitrates, which promote the growth of algae, a potentially poisonous mix. Keep monitoring it, but we can't just because we tested last week and everything looked okay doesn't mean that it'll be that way all summer. Until then, those in the Santa Fe River community will keep a watchful eye on a landscape that seems to be disappearing. By the way, Post Springs is unlikely to be open this summer due to ongoing construction. Chris Gilmore, TV20 News.